Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dojo Setting. Uh, I got a request asking about how to set on shorter walls, so we're going to do that today. Uh, this green line here is an 8 foot mark. Uh, I think that's fairly common, people with, uh, with walls in their house, not necessarily in the garage or outside. I feel like 8 foot tall walls are fairly common. Let's play around with setting a few boulders with that in mind. Ultimately, when you're setting on a shorter wall, you need to keep in mind what the goal is, uh, what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, I've talked about this <laughs> in another video, um, but if you're skipping holds, you're missing the point. Uh, so with the short walls, you can kind of make tic-tac-y stuff. And it's like, sure, you might be able to pull past a couple of the holds and skip them, but why? You can work on core tension, you can work on body tension, you can work on finger strength, you can work on a lot of things. A couple things to consider. Either one of the following. Have your routes be fairly long, uh, get a lot of traversing in there. If you don't have the height to go up, go side to side. It teaches you a lot about footwork. Or have them be very short and just really focus on one or two really hard moves. You can really pinpoint your weaknesses and really work on them with a short wall. Uh, you, you're not necessarily worried about you know getting to the top of a 15 foot boulder. You're just really worried about executing this one move really well. This green climb is a lot of body tension. There's a lot more being asked of your body, not necessarily of your fingers. Uh, this next blue one here is more so just kind of traversing the wall. It's not anything standout difficult. Uh, ultimately, what you're going for here is uh, focusing on the biceps. Notice the left and right bicep really get worked with those underclings there. Uh, this black boulder is just straightforward in your face the entire way. Uh, you have a really big first move to a really bad sloper. It's really honing in on this move. And uh, this last bo boulder, uh, using the Endure Furrows, uh, is a little bit more dynamic. Uh, you kind of have that little foot cut move uh, to the second to last hold. Uh, again, a lot of body tension involved. Uh, one thing that you will find to be very helpful is if you set your roots with tracking in mind. Now, by tracking, I mean that you can use the kicker panel footholds but all the other feet you use need to be previous handholds of the root. Uh, you'll notice on all of these climbs, I'm only using the designated colors uh, as well as the kicker point. So there are a couple tips for setting on shorter walls. Uh, keep checking back next time. We have a lot of videos on the way, so make sure you like and subscribe. Keep pumping out videos and we'll see you next time.